What's up guys? I am back from Palm Springs. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I always have to say that in every video, so I'm going to try to switch it up. Today I want to show you how I do my go-to hairstyle. I think it's very easy. It takes no time at all, and I know no matter what I do with this curling wand, I will get a good, just good everything in my hair. Good body, movement, volume, everything. I'm also shooting this during my lunch break, so I know I got to be quick, and I know I can achieve that with this hair tool. So I'm talking about the tapered wand. It goes from one to one and a half inches. I got this off Amazon. I'm going to link something similar, not this exact one, but one um, that is similar in size. I brought this with me when I did go to Palm Springs. I also brought this braid balm from Beach Waver and also a travel size um, hairspray, which also doubled as a heat protectant spray. Actually this and then dry shampoo. Since I already washed my hair, I'm just gonna go in with this heat protectant spray first or actually, I'm gonna go in with the braid balm first. This is just going to help me get those defined waves, curls. So I washed my hair this morning so I don't need dry shampoo. And I'm just gonna put this all over my hair. Oh, my hands are sticky. It's okay. Now I just like to brush that through. If you know me, you know I love brushing my hair. I just love when I can put my fingers through my hair and it doesn't get caught. From there, I'm going to go in with the heat protectant spray. There's something in my eyelash. Okay. Spray that all over. my rings back on. From here, I'm going to divide my hair up. What I like about using a tapered wand is that because you get both the narrow and a wider size in the wand, you can do both thinner and wider strands or thinner and thicker strands. And so if I'm on a time crunch, I don't make it perfect and I just try to kind of blend in both thin and thick strands. If you saw my pack with me video, you'll know that I was struggling with trying to take both this wand and my Dyson Airwrap. They give two very different styles, right? This gives you actual curls. The Dyson Airwrap is gonna give you more of a blowout look. I did get a few questions recently on the temperature I keep this at. For this one, I keep it at 360 degrees and I don't leave my hair on the wand for a long time. So maybe we should count like this right here. You can see separation. So let's just go ahead and do that smaller section. So like for a thinner strand, obviously I'm just going to leave it on the wand for a lesser amount of time compared to a thicker strand. So this is four, five, six, maybe less than six seconds. It's pretty hot. And I always drop my curl into my hand and let it cool a little bit before I drop it down. I also make all of my curls go away from my face. And I don't think it matters, like it's really just personal preference. Sometimes if I'm doing more of a curly look, I will, I will um, alternate curling away from my face or away from my face toward my face for a more natural look whereas with this I don't want to think about it I just want to get it done so all of them are going to go away from my face that way I don't have to remember what did I do last and then like it's just because I'm thinking about other things while I'm doing this too and I feel like for me at least it's easy to forget eh, what I'm doing Okay, like this needs to be its own section. I also feel like I'm much faster at using a wand 
compared to something like a, your typical curling iron or even the beach weaver which I feel like I could do this with the B1.25, I think it is, beach waver, the, the thicker one. Because for that, I would only be using thick strands. So I'd probably have maybe four sections on each side for both layers. And whatever I do on one side, I try to mirror on the opposite side now. So I know I did maybe a few thinner strands on this side, so I'm gonna try to mirror that. And I know with this one, this one's a thicker strand, so around my face I did more, I ended it with a thicker strand of a curl. Look at that. Look at that difference, right? One look I wanna try next it's not new, but for some reason I've never tried it, it is use curling my hair with a curling iron, but on the under layer using a deep waver. So I wonder if I can get, I wonder if I can get a very seamless blended look if I do that myself. I have two different, I have two different kinds of deep wavers. I have a smaller one from the beach waver and I have a bigger one from um, Amazon. So I think I might do that video next. Let me know what you guys think or if there's another video topic you would like me to cover first. So you can see when you're on a time crunch, it's easy just to get lost in just the, the routine of like, all right, I'm gonna take a strand, I'm gonna wrap it around the wand, I'm gonna repeat. Um, so you just need to make that effort to just remind yourself, like, no, you can still do it fast but you're gonna need to be cautious of how much you're grabbing, how much hair you're grabbing. But at the same time, I also don't do the under layer perfect. As long as I can see some body and balance in it, then I know I'm gonna be good. I'm not gonna spray any product into my hair yet. And this is exactly what I did when I was in Palm Springs. I would get this done, do that under layer. Like I had to move really fast one day or probably first full day there cause it was so hot, I was sweating. I wanted to get in the pool and then I was like gross. And then I wanted to shower, but then I also had to wash my hair. So there was just a lot going on. And then when I get to the second layer, I wanna split my hair down the middle, part my hair down the middle. I guess it's proper. I try to make sure I can start that curl at the root of my head, the root of my hair. I'm like all wrong today. And the reason, and I've, and I've explained this in another video, but the reason why I like to always part my hair down the middle when I am curling my hair is because if I can change my mind, I can easily switch over if I want a side part, like if I change my mind as I'm styling when I'm done, like uh, actually I want a side part on the left or a side part on the right. So that is easy to do and flip over when you're starting with the middle part, at least for me. Part of me just wants to like not speed up any part of this video. I'll just add music to it so you can see truly the time it takes to just curl. Maybe I'll do that. I mean, it would make editing easier. Also a quick note, like I, my hair is quite hot after I take it off of the curling one, but as you can see, it's only there for a few seconds. So I would say just be aware that if you do have it on a lower temp, you might have to keep your hair on that wand a little bit longer than I do. but I also have to go with by how thin or thick the strand is. The thinner the strand, the less time it is on the curling, uh, curling wand, the 
thicker it is, the more time I need it to be on there. And then usually at this point, I want to turn off my curling iron. Yep, it's off. And then I also unplug it. Okay, I was moving things over, so let's check the time, whatever that is. And then here is the hair. Now all I want to do is finger comb. And you just get like effortless waves. If I want to, I could probably brush it out for a more looser look, but I think I want to kind of leave it like this. I'm kind of liking this. And also one tip, if you want looser waves, do bigger sections of your hair because you can see I've got some tighter curls going on here because of those thinner strands because I've got a mix going on. And before I spray anything, let's show you what it looks like. Let me grab this mirror so I can see myself. Look at that. Hopefully, oh, I guess I should scoot up. Look at that. So this is literally the final look in the back so you can see you got some body you got some waves if i'm at home and this is how i'm doing my hair like right now i'm on a lunch break i need to go back to work i would use a texture spray follow it up with a hairspray so this is technically my go-to look so okay so now i will go in with some hairspray Normally, if I'm traveling, I would use this one. This is the one that I use that has a heat protectant spray, so I used it earlier, but it also doubles as a hairspray. But since I'm at home and I'm not traveling, I really want to have a moment for the major moment hairspray. I haven't used it that much, but when I have used it, it smells great. The scent is Bali Beach Night. That's the aroma experience. And since if I'm traveling, hairspray is all I would have. I wouldn't have a texture spray. I would almost treat this a little bit like a texture spray in where I just spray underneath my hair. And also under the layers here, just a little bit, cause it is hairspray. And then I'm just gonna spray this all over. Got in my mouth. Especially if you're somewhere humid, like Palm Springs and you want that extra hold. All right, there we go. And then I do a little more finger combing just to make sure the front of my hair, maybe I'll do a side part here, is how I want it. Maybe not. Maybe I'll stick to the middle part. Yeah. Stick with the middle part. This is it. And then I just make sure I can tame those waves so that they're, they're not looking crazy from the front. <coughs> oh my God. I think I started at 12.08, so that's good. So this is the final look, check it out. This is my go-to hairstyle because it takes no time at all. It's quick and easy, and the end result is always a good one. So I will link everything I used down below. You can use my code to get, I think either 10 or 15% off on any of the Beach Weaver products. I'll also link the Beach Weaver B1.25 just in case you prefer using that to curl your hair because you can definitely get a very similar look using that. It's not tapered, but you can get something similar and it is a time saver. But I'll also link a tapered one from my Amazon storefront. I think it gives you more of a tousled, effortless look. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any video requests, feel free to leave them down in the comments.